Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Angela Bliss and today I am visiting the Illusion Dutch Pour by Tatiana Borisova. I will link her in the description box of my video. I used a new product called Nova Gel 207. She uses 209. I got the wrong one. She uses the super gel. I just got the gel and I wanted to replace the impasto paste that I started with. I'm so glad I did. This painting that I'm going to be creating today is amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. I'm just going to dive right in. I'm sorry, but it dried like a crystallized gel. Honey, do you like crystal gel? Make it look nice. It sparkle like diamond in the sky. Do you like crystal gel? So see how you can just see right through it. It is clear. It is as clear as glass, except for when you touch it. When you touch it, it's more like an acrylic. It's a hard acrylic, clear acrylic. Amazing, I'm like mind blown. I've never seen anything do this. With that being said, I'm gonna get you guys down. We're gonna get busy and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Glad you're here and uh, let's get down on the canvas. All right, everyone, I have this done and we're just gonna get, get started here. I've got some Olive Green Deep by Amsterdam that I've had mixed up for a couple of days. I'm going to just lay it down here and I mixed it with the Titanium Buff Light just to kind of get a lighter color. Hopefully I have enough. I think I do. Save a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and the um, Amsterdam Titanium Buff Light on this side. So this is gonna be very small up through here, I think. I'm gonna leave, um, probably gonna leave some of the, most of the green um, is the negative space and I'm just gonna kind of do more of a blowout on this side. So we'll see. So I'm going to lay down my colors now and I think I want the phthalo green on the bottom. Got uh, Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray. I've got the Pearl Sage Green by Arteza. Probably put a little bit too much phthalo green, but it's okay. I've got the Amsterdam Olive Green Deep, and I've got the bronze. I'm just going to blow this out really easily. Let's see how we can get this done. Mm. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So let's, uh, let's not do this again. Yeah, it's horrible. Try it again. Now we're leaving it alone. Um, that looks good to me. Once we get the other stuff on here, I think it'll be fine. Um, there is negative space. Um, it's not solid, but it works. Uh, may have to paint over it. But uh, I love this, and I love this. So uh, just bear with me, guys. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. Some super cool little cells coming up in the corner there. That's neat. Um, it's very pretty. Really neat. Super pretty down here too. All right, stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm back and uh, I'm going to do some Nova Gel, clear Nova Gel on top of this. Um, going to be an illusion Dutch pour 
And here is my Nova Gel. I bought a gallon of it, so I guess I should use it, right? Um, it is the 207 Nova Gel. I have now found out that Tatiana Borisova uses the 209 Super Nova Gel, but I think it may be the same. We're gonna see. So I'm just going to get busy um, putting this texture on. I haven't added anything to it. We'll see how it works. So enjoy the process, guys. So it's a little thinner than the other paste that I used. That is definitely the case. Probably need to be a little more conservative. And I'm just going to see if we can't get this knocked out. the texture, the feel of the texture, slides off pretty easy. I'm going to do it a little thicker than she does. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, this is a little milkier than the other. It's very, it's a little thinner. I like the consistency though. I really like it. Very different mixture, that's for sure. But I like it. I love it. Love it. This is so much fun, guys. So much fun. I'm not really doing long drags. I'm doing like really short drags. Kind of on and off. I'm just drag those little holes right out of there. It's very forgiving. Very, very forgiving. Chai. I really like. Quite lovely. Quite lovely. Could have been wider, but kind of like the narrowness of it right there. So that's what we're doing. It does have a little bit of a smell to it. Um, I do have my door open today to my studio, so that is a plus. So you may want to ventilate when you use it. A little bit more and we're done. We will do a wet result and uh, once we're done and then we'll see what we're going to do with the rest of it. So let's get this finished. Okay, bring me down for the wet version of this and then we'll show it to you when it's dry. We'll see how it works out. See if we need to add anything to it. Okay, we'll get you down. Okay, guys. Quite cool. Laid it in pretty thick. All right. We'll see how this dries. Super cool. I will show you guys as soon as it's dry. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm.